Hello, I'm uh, posting this, this video for an idea of a tabletop toroidal coil winder. Um, I'll probably not get around to building it, but I think it's a good idea. And I'm giving out the, out there to anyone that wants wants to make it. Uh, I built a, a larger one for to do to wind my EPG and I designed a smaller one to show you. These are sort of rough sketches. No, this this was the one I built. This is the bicycle wheel. But the difference was mine fed the wire from this spool to here. Now, when it comes to scaling this down to something smaller, you're not going to get away with having this in here because the wheels going to get too small and you'll not get around your toroidal coil center. Okay, so the idea is I've been watching the, the rep wrap uh, 3D printers and this here has been designed in mind with being used with with one of them printers uh, size wise I think it will fit in the tabletop and a lot of components could be very easily made on it right let's go through this and see now okay here green part is the frame okay if you imagine all this here that all that there part is the green part here. Okay, second, my wheel. Okay, exactly the same idea. Nothing changed much there. You have a wheel, but instead of the spool being in the center, you're going to have another ring running on the inside of this. On the inside of here, you'll have another ring. See, so this is going to be scaled down um, to tabletop size. Okay, so the ring that runs in here will need teeth and be on a small ratchet. And maybe a few of these around here. Same sort of thing as you have in a, a socket wrench. The way that ratchet is ratchets round. What this will do is give enough tension to keep the wire from all spooling out and secondly will lock this in place when it's rotating in reverse for uh, filling this here bobbin with wire. Okay, so you fill all your wire onto this here and this will only go one way and the wire will come out here and feed, feed around in the winder. Okay. Uh -huh. Aha, mom of the tea. Yeah. This is Cliff. That's hot. Hello, Cliff. Hello, Cliff. Hello. This is Bug. Hello, where are you? Okay. okay. The steamy stuff. Oh, a nice cup of tea. Right, so. Here, this here, as you can see, is the tabletop, as it would be on that. Except here, you'll have rollers which will they'll need to be motorized and it will rotate very slowly your toroidal coil as you're spinning it round. Now these here will be uprights that you can turn around and clamp not clamp just uh, guide in place where where your toroidal coil is going so if you get that idea you see, this this stuff can be printed in plastic. It's phenomenal. Any any idea, any three dimensional idea, um, oof, it's bang, instant. Right, the drive system. Seeing as this is being printed, it's easy just to have a gear all the way around and a small uh, drive wheel, and these can also these can be replicated. Same exact same for holding this floating round while maybe the top one or even this one drives. Yeah. Now I haven't quite 
figured out the, the separation, but plastic clips, it's easy enough to, to clip that out in some way. The, both of these are removable and they need to be to put your trowel in the middle. And uh, I thought about getting this inside this, but once you have the gap here, you can slightly twist it one round and feed it round inside the other. So that that's doable. And uh, I say this is small, a small one. And another idea I had was that this can be pivoted and this whole thing tilt. So if you're doing strange coils, I think they're rodent coils, and you can wind on an angle with this as well as just at 90 degrees. So there you go, this is a, an idea for tabletop toroidal coil winder, which uh, might appeal to some. A lot of guys in the electronics and winding coils is a pain in the arse. This this could be handy enough. <laughs> and you could quite easily apply this to any uh, you can stick a bobbin in the center and wind any coil. So there you go. It could be done on a 3D printer and uh, you could knock this out in a day or two. So if you understand that, uh, let me know. <laughs> um, tell me what you think. And I totally encourage uh, comments. Uh, I'd just like to have the feedback. And... Uh, whether it's a pile of shit or not, you can let me know. Alright, signing off. This is a free one. Cheers. Peace.